You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another Team of the Week video. It's Team of the Week number 28 and there are some pretty nice players in this Team of the Week that you're going to want to go out and try and pack or maybe pick up for your squads. Now if you want to buy some coins, go over to igsky.com. They have a new variation of ways that you can actually buy coins from. Go over, have a look, see if you want to pick some up and use the code CAPGUN if you do to get yourself a discount. Now these players will be in packs at 6pm and uh, Unfortunately, because the web app's down, EA are no longer providing us with the cool links that allow us to actually click on the players, have a look at them. They only give us this stupid picture, which isn't all that nice. But what can I do? You know, I'm bringing you the team of the week as soon as it comes out, and that's what I've always done. So this is the only way I can do that. Now, let's have a look at who we have. First up, we have Berkey, a goalkeeper um, from the Bundesliga. Doesn't look all that good for a 77 rated. In fact, I take that back. He looks really good for a 77 rated. But because he's 77 rated, no one's going to want him. I mean, 86 diving and 87 reflexes on this card is insane for 77 rated. Um, but then you can see the rest of his positions do let him down somewhat. We have Coke at right back from Zavia. 79 pace, 72 dribbling, 63 shooting, 79 defending and 77 physical stats on him. PK will be one of the bigger players in this team of the week, I believe. With the uh, 67 pace, 89 defending and 80 physical. You know, people are going to want to pick him up because there aren't all that many good centre-backs in La Liga. And, you know, not high rated ones anyway, so he'll be one that people want. This is a big card, Fanny, moved from, I think it believe it's right back or left back, to centre back, and he has all the stats to make him an amazing centre back, he was gold a couple years ago and they did the same thing, moving him from right back to centre back, or whether it was left back to the centre back, I can't remember, um, and he was worth a lot of money back then. Now they've done it with his silver card, he is going to be just as expensive, not more expensive, because no one opens silver packs. Um, he has 81 pace as a centre-back, that is amazing. 78 defending and 78 physical stats. That is a very, very strong silver in-form centre-back for League One. You may want to put him into hybrid squads so you can get him in there with other players, um, you know, other French players and stuff like that, because he's going to be a god. Um, we also have Jao Moutinho, look at that. I mean, he's got an 84 rated card. Importantly, he is one of the only good uh, Portuguese central midfielders, and everyone knows you've got to link Ronaldo up with someone. If you want to make a hybrid, he is one of the ones that you're usually going to go for. 87 passing on his card, as well as 85 dribbling. Pretty nice one. Maxim, five star skiller, gets an inform as well. 79 rated overall with 82 passing, 83 dribbling, 74 shooting, and 79 par or pace. Um, we have Fernando from Man City. I've used Fernando in the past. He's actually a very good player, uh, very defensive minded and is perfect as a CDM. 84 defending and 85 physical stats on his card. We have Juan Mata who played fantastically for Manchester United on the weekend with 75 pace. He's playing right mid. You must bear that in mind. I think that will probably affect his price slightly because people generally aren't going to want a right midfield matter. They much prefer a central attacking mid matter. But he does have 89 dribbling, which does mean he does have the skills to stay out on the wing and, you know, get good balls into the box, 86 passing, 80 shooting, very nice card. Raphael from, don't make me say it, Borussia Mönchengladbach, I believe is how you pronounce it, um, and he has 77 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, pretty good all-round card, centre forward there, probably moving to Cam myself if I was going to play him in any team, he does have 70 physical as well. Giroud, unfortunately that means his man of the match is going to be worthless because, you know, here comes his uh, his inform, which is going to be slightly high rated, 86 shooting and 88 physical on that card, being his best stats. And then the biggest player of this team of the week, thank God there's no building uh, Bayern Munich players, by the way. Thank God there are no Bayern Munich, Munich players. I'm so happy about that. Um, biggest player of this team of the week, Ibrahimovic. 92 rating overall, this is his second in form, 78 pace, 90 dribbling, 95 shooting, 90 physical and 84 passing, that card is mental. Give me that card right now, if I pack him, I'll run around outside my house naked or something and film it and then blur it out. I don't know, I'll do something stupid because if I pack him, I'll be in the coins, I'll be absolutely loaded, it'll be amazing. Uh, fingers crossed uh, that I can manage to pack him this week. Then we have Kane, no surprise that he gets another in form for the hat-trick that he got this weekend. Uh, 79 rated overall this card, with 85 shooting, 78 physical, 78 dribbling, 77 passing, 77 pace, sorry, 72 passing are his stats. There are a couple silvers on the board, uh, on the uh, bench. I'm not going to go through them all that much because they're not all that uh, noteworthy. We have Larson, Sapanara. We also have Ainsworth, who has 91 pace. I guess that's probably the best of the silvers that you're going to see. And Canate, a striker with 81 pace and 67 shooting. The two bronzes this week are going to be uh, Bettinelli from Fulham and also Akaba, who uh, is from Fetinod. So there you go, guys. That is the team of the week. Who do you think deserved to be in this team of the week that didn't make it in? Who do you think 
didn't deserve to be in this team of the week that did make it in. Who are you most looking forward to pack other than Ibrahimovic because everyone's going to want to pack him. Let me know down in the comment section. Smash the like button. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time.